I'm really glad I got to talk about religion in this video because it's something that I've been like really getting into over the past few months and something that has really become like one of the most valuable things in my life and I want to share that with you because you know it's easy in this modern day because we've been you know like our world now is more secular we worship the world rather than worship our God right and it when we worship the world we are setting ourselves on a path of destruction because we aren't worshiping something that is eternal we're worshiping something that's passing away in our in like the front of our eyes right like you see all this all this stuff about like global warming like the trees are being just like deforestation animals going extinct like the world is withering away and yet for some reason we have chosen to worship the world more than worship a god and you know like every you may be watching this and be thinking like oh god isn't real it in my opinion it's easier to justify that there is a god rather than justify that there isn't and it's not just because like i'm religious it's like you know atheists will talk about like oh big bang like that's how everything came to exist in an atheist mind it's that things just sort of happened and it's it's harder to believe that than that there's like this god above all things that decided to make something and if anything the big bang actually like the big bang is more evidence for god than evidence for there not being a god like, if you really think about it, do you really believe that things just kind of... Or do you believe that a God above all things chose to make the world, chose to make the sky, chose to make the water, chose to make us? Because it's easier for me personally to believe that. And sure, it may not be easy for you to believe that. But there's no harm in at least trying to seek God. And when you do find God in your life, He will hold your hand throughout all of the trials and He will make your life that little bit easier, that little bit smoother. Because he wants you to come back to him. God wants you to know him. Because he knows you already. Like God already knows you. And he became flesh and died. So that we may be forgiven of our sins. And it's so important that we don't let that sacrifice go to waste and that we actually try and seek God and try to get to know him and try to try to walk in his light and try to walk with him because what he wants for us is better than what we want for ourselves and he will take care of the things that are out of our control for us and we just need to show up, essentially. We just need to pray. We just need to go to church. We just need to go do the work that he wants us to do. And then our lives will become better automatically. And you know, when we find God in our lives, we will be filled with this sense of peace. Like I, I was in like a very low period of my life. Well, not not very low it was like it was a low but it wasn't too bad like in relation to the other lows I've had in life 
But when I was in that low, I held on to my hope uh, with like white knuckle grip, right? Because I knew that if I had let go of my faith, I would have. I would have just atrophied away. I would have just withered. I would have gotten worse and worse progressively. And I wouldn't be able to. I wouldn't be here talking to you if I didn't hold on to my faith. And God got me through that time. And now that I'm out of that time, I can see what God was trying to do. I can see that he was helping me develop perseverance in my faith. And it's really starting to pay off now because I've become a lot more faithful. I've, be I've become a lot more outspoken about God. Like when I'm with my friends, I will talk about God because I know that he wants to know them too. Well, he already knows them, but I know that they need to know him in order for their lives to really become what their lives can be. So yeah, find God and you'll be rewarded. That's all I have to say today. Keep running when no one else is.